Some sea turtles in Florida are showing signs of a horrible disease. They have tumors growing all over their bodies. And get this, the amazing research, though, being done on these sea turtles on the First Coast could eventually help us humans. First Coast News' Jessica Clark explains how turtles and humans might be helping each other. Uh, this animal is from Ormond Beach. This fellow is a new patient at the Sea Turtle Hospital at University of Florida's Whitney Lab for Marine Science in Flagler County. This animal has fibropapilloma. Fibropapilloma. It's a long name for a mysterious disease that causes tumors on sea turtles. This poor guy even has them on his eyes. The tumor itself does not kill them but it debilitates them um, by affecting their ability to swim and dive. Oftentimes it grows over the eyes, so it um, makes it difficult for them to be able to see, to be able to, to feed appropriately or to escape predators. And all of that can kill them. Every turtle here at the Sea Turtle Hospital has fibropapilloma. Scientists don't really know what causes the disease. Maybe it's from toxins in the ocean. They don't know, but they know the tumors come from a type of herpes virus. The preliminary data that we've collected so far indicates that the tumors that these turtles are getting are very similar to human tumors. Director of the Whitney Bioscience Lab, Mark Martindale, says human medical treatments are being used to help these turtles trying to interrogate the molecular features of the tumor itself to see whether the tumors will tell us what is actually uh, promoting their growth. And that, in turn, could possibly help human medical science. That's what we are hoping. Also of note, turtles live to 100 years old. And this provides us with a sort of a unique system to compare to human lifespans that's much different than, say, a mouse, which lives a year or two and, uh, and is not a very particularly good model for uh, long-time interactions with local ecosystems, environments. There is some good news here, rehabilitation. This fellow right here is Mean Joe Green, and he had a really bad case of fibropapilloma, but he has done so well here at the hospital that he is going to be released this week. Another fibropapilloma patient, Tomatoa, will be released too. But uh, that's not to say that once they're out in the wild, if they're exposed to the same kinds of obnoxious chemicals, for example, that those tumors might um, re reappear. And so the people here will continue to research this debilitating disease, hoping to discover answers that could benefit both turtle and human. In Flagler County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News.